Most people, when they finish clearing a fault with the EAS Buddy or the EAS Unlock software, discover that the air leak that caused the fault has completely depleted all of the air pressure in the system, and the suspension won't change height. Um, even though the fault has been cleared, uh, the suspension is very slow to change height. So this is what I do, and this is what I recommend. I want to go over some steps. What we're going to do is we're going to start the engine, we are going to leave one of the doors open, and we're going to check the uh, air compressor to make sure it's running. When the air compressor stops after about 10 to 15 minutes, then we're going to get back in the car, close the door, and select the height. I'm going to show you those steps real quick. Okay, so what we've done is we've gone ahead and cleared the EAS fault using the EAS buddy. And now, the fault is cleared, we're going to start the vehicle, and we're going to leave one of the doors open. And make sure this do this outside. And what we're going to do is we're going to let the engine run for about 10 to 15 minutes. Alright, we've started the vehicle, and now we're going to move on to underneath the hood, and we're just going to make sure the compressor is running. Alright, so now with the engine running, I've turned the engine off right now so you can hear me. But with the engine running, what you'll be doing is you'll be feeling, simply place your hand on top of the EAS compressor box to make sure it's running. You're just going to feel the vibration. And it's just as simple as putting your hand on it, and if it's vibrating, you know it's running, doing its job. Also, make sure and leave the door open. The door should remain open. Leaving the door open prevents the electronic air suspension from making any height adjustments. So what you're doing is you're allowing just the compressor to run. The door open prevents the car from raising or lowering, and so that allows the compressor to spend all of its time pressurizing the air tank. And at about 10 to 15 minutes, having the car idling and one of the doors open, the compressor should stop. Once the compressor stops, then get back in the vehicle, close the door, and select a height, and the vehicle should change height very quickly because now you've allowed the air tank to become fully pressurized. All right, so I've let my car idle with the door open for about 10 to 15 minutes. I've checked the compressor. Be careful, it's hot. So you don't actually want to touch the compressor. Just touch the housing, and the housing will be vibrating. I'm going to get back into the car and uh, select the height. 